Anyway, enough with the fun. Let's get started, shall we? Anyway. Hey everyone, uh, this is Sean. You may know me from the PN2 podcast, or you may have seen me around Discord a few times, or on the PN2 forums. Now, it's no secret that the Madness community has influenced a lot of people over the years. Uh, not all of this influence has been for the better, as I'm about to show you in this video. Now, uh, before I get started, I um, want to clear the air a bit and give you guys a bit of a backstory. Uh, a few people know that me and Kels had worked on a project about two years ago called Mad Reaction. Um, so I'd like to tell you the full story behind that. Believe it or not, Kelzad and I used to be uh, fairly friendly uh, acquaintances. Uh, we discussed the memories of both MadnessCombat.com and uh, MC.net um, about how great it would be to get a new Madness site up and running. Um, over a few back and forth messages on Skype, we came to the name Mad Reaction. The name uh, was his uh, idea, if I recall. Uh, I worked on the design of uh, the CSS HTML. Um, being a novice in uh, web design, I didn't have the full knowledge for this kind of website. I didn't, uh, uh, you know, the, de the development on my own was a little bit slower due to um, not knowing, you know, the full extent of how big this project really was. So we wanted to do, you know, our own upload portal and all this fancy sh uh, stuff, but. So the progress is slow. Also, being at college and working on the PN2 podcast at the same time took up a huge chunk of my own time. Um, so my free time was very slim, to say the least. Uh, this is where things go wrong. What happened was, because I thought it was necessary to, to get uh, Demarus, if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, one of his other fr uh, friends, to make a uh, rival version of the website uh, the intent behind this was to force me to hurry up um, because he believed that I was working too slowly with you know all the other stuff that I had to actually do in my life. Um, to put it into perspective, realising this, I felt like I was a, a slave building one of the pyramids by, uh, while being whipped. Uh, I find this fact pretty interesting considering all, the th all of the uh, funding necessary for this project was coming out of my own pocket. Uh, Kelsey didn't contribute any funds to this project whatsoever, uh, although some of the Madness fans did donate to the forums. So, um, you know, it's pretty interesting to note that, isn't it? Of course, Demarus knew nothing about programming with his rival site. When I looked at the code on the website, I realised he literally took the code from a HTML generator um, and added his little copyright text all over it, calling it his own original work. So. Trust me when I say that if he was looking for competition, he certainly didn't try hard enough. Uh, almost like he didn't particularly care for the project to begin with. As a joke, I thought it would be funny to kind of get back at them first. So I bought the domain they were going to use. Uh, I can't remember what it was. It was like madness-combat dot, you know, whatever extension they were using. Um, I found out a funny gag to do for like $5. I, you know... But in reflection, a little bit childish on my part, so at the very least I do apologise for that, but albeit there was fair reason behind it. The connections I had between myself and the GP team ended at that, and uh, it had been strained ever since. After this I noticed some things about Kells that I never really expected to see, but was pretty much forced to. I, I noticed that one thing he cared about was his own image and ideas. 
uh, doesn't care about anyone else's feelings other than his own, unless uh, those people are useful enough for his own plans. And he has an ego so large you need a jackhammer to grind it off. But these points I will go into detail a little bit later. Now the GPS team, I'm here to talk about the GPS studios and Mr. Kerazad himself. You'd see that these people are, are respected members of the Madness community. Um, so odds are, if you're watching this video, then you probably already know who these people are. The main animators include Kelzed, Sethic, Janna, Gabriel Barsh, Gib50. Oh, sorry. Let me rephrase that. Uh, there's Kelzed, Seth, uh, some type kind of. Jan oh, no, not Janna. Uh, Gabriel, um, no. Uh, Dark Signal, um, kind of. Uh, and uh, Gib50. So. You already know who these people are. Strange would say that, right? After all, I could have sworn the header image on their YouTube channel for over a month when Jana left was a Jana included. It's kind of interesting that he didn't remove him when he decided to leave. Kind of um, strange that both of Gabriel Barshi's videos, Jana's collab videos, were still on his channel even when Jana wasn't even a, me a member anymore. It's almost as if Kelza didn't want to lose the view counts on those videos. Um, it's also interesting to know that when Kelzad was asked to take them down, he instead listed them as private, that way he could retain ownership over those videos and still retain those uh, views. Um, it's kind of interesting when you, you know, really think about that. I'm sure now you're aware of Crinkle's recent animation, uh, Romp.fla. A fun, fun little catch-up to get Crinkle's, you know, warmed up and ready to start working on MC11 again. Well, the, the majority of people probably don't know is that this animation was leaked quite a few years ago. Uh, the reason I know this was because when me and Kelsog were friends over two years ago, he sent the animation to me via Skype. I think it was a Swift file. Um, yeah, so Kelsog leaked, had uh, a copy of this animation very early on, the first introduction scene, um, and that was he shared that between all of his friends uh, in the GPS community, which uh, he then used to rip out sprites and gloated about it on their live streams, uh, like some kind of accomplishment or a trophy. Uh, you can see the example of this behavior right here. Right there. Hey guys, do you want to see? Um, do you want to see a little bit of a preview to Kringles' next animation? Haha. <laughs> well, here you go. There it is. Have a look at Mad. Have a look at Madness Eleven. It's not Madness Eleven. It's a thingy. It's a little. Wait, what whoa. are you actually doing? Oh, no. Whoa, dude. Okay. What is that? You. What? This I'm... is illegal. <laughs> this isn't illegal. He's already shown it a million times before. Okay, um, oh wait, whoops, that's not the right thing. Uh, will he make a game a boot? Now keep in mind, Crinkles never gave Kelzer permission to show this animation off on his GP livestream, as this is before Romp was finished, although he could argue that Crinkles was working on the animation on his own live streams, which is fine, because it's his animation, he can do what he wants with it, that doesn't give you the right to share it with anyone else. Um, now before I go into why I have a problem with this, let me s set up how Kels had obtained this animation from the information that I've received personally. Um, as I recall, back when uh, Kels and I would talk on Skype when he sent me the animation, it was a link to Dump Grounds. Uh, when he sent the link to me, he practically begged me not to tell Crinkles that he had the animation. I did so anyway because I felt it was morally uh, irreprehensible to hide something like that from someone who worked so hard on their art. Um, the, interesting, the interesting thing Kelzad told me was uh, Kelzad alluded that the leak has something to do with a flirtatious personal private message history between two individuals uh, who sh shall not be named in this video. Um, when telling me this via Skype call uh, a while back, he was laughing and getting a personal kick out of this animation, uh, out of this information, sorry. Um, now, all of that never happened, from what I can gather. Either this was an excuse told to Kelzad, or he made this up on his own sick, as his own sick joke. 
Uh, regardless, what really happened is this. As people know, the musician for uh, Romp, uh, Cryono77, uh, all those years ago was given the preview for the animation. Um, as, you know, our, the musician needs to know what, you know, he needs to do, what kind of tone, or what kind of feel to do for the animation. They're best friends, you know. Crinkles and uh, Cryono, they're friends, you know. Um, but Cryono is also friends with uh, Sethic. And Sethic being, you know, uh, a practicing, asp inspire, aspiring uh, madness animator. He asked um, if he could have the animation for research purposes, you know. Um, look at how Crinkles works with these different elements and try and, you know, uh, learn a few tricks of the trade, so to speak. Uh, I messaged Suffolk and he says that after a period of time, he sent um, the file to K Kelzad, who, of course, is also a fan under the presumption he kept the transferred file private. Kazad still shared them anyway. Um, this, of course, should be obvious, as I stated before. He sent it directly to me, uh, someone he didn't know very well, because we hadn't talked very long before he sent that to me. Um, so you can see that his lips were not as sealed as they uh, appeared to be. Like a virus, the file apparently started spreading uh, around uh, their sort of small circle of friends. Um, and a quick uh, attempt to damage control kills that order of people to, to uh, delete the file, which I assume they, uh, that they did. But this bond of trust that Kelza broke clearly shows the kind of friend that he is. As soon as he gets something that's personal, like an unreleased animation, he will flaunt it in front of people's faces, he will flog it around, uh, just for the sake of bragging and uh, boosting his own reputation. I'm not sure how many people had this file, um, but I know it wasn't shared with Gabriel Barsh or Jenna. They, I both spoke to them and they never had the animation at the very least, so it's clear that Kelzak uh, and his close friends tried to keep the secret as best they could. Well, I'm unsure what the uh, delay of romp really was, since it was such a large time span before it was finished. Um, I'm sure something like this couldn't have helped it come out any sooner, really. Um, if anything, sharing the file helps ruin the animator's motivation to continue by helping spoil the content of it. To put it into pers uh, perspective, if I ask Kelzad, what if the current state of Realm 4 was leaked and shared between people and shown in a live stream without his permission, I can imagine Kelzad wouldn't be too happy about that. So thanks for that, I'm sure you were a big help. Here comes the money! Here we go! Money talk! Here comes the money! Now, I had this uh, theory looking at his YouTube channel um, that there was something strange about it that no one on this YouTube channel could have been being paid because when I was on a Skype call, a video Skype call with Kelzad on Skype, you know, all those years ago, I remember he was clicking through his YouTube channel and I saw, excuse me, I saw his ad revenue uh, amount and it was quite a large figure. So I thought it was kind of interesting that... Um, you know, are, are, are all the members of his team being paid? So I, I sent them, a couple of them, a few messages. The first person was Sethic. Uh, I asked, have you ever received an ad revenue cut from the GPS YouTube channel? He replied, no. I then asked him, could I ask you and Kelzad, could I ask if you and Kelzad ever discussed putting advertisements on your content, or did he do it without telling you? He responded, I don't talk much, I typically keep to myself, so if he did, he didn't run it by me. Which I think is very interesting because you could say that, oh, they never said that I couldn't put advertisements on these videos, but that doesn't make it your content. Um, this is not, there's no legal obligation that this content is now yours just because it's on, quote, your YouTube channel. Um, so I went to Gabriel Barsh. Um, I asked him about my suspicion in regards to the monetization of the GPS videos, and he had some interesting things to share. First thing is he confirmed receiving, not receiving any cut of the ad revenue from the GPS YouTube channel. This is in fact the main reason Gabriel Barsh decided to put the content on his own channel, because he just wasn't getting any money from it. Um, and also he wasn't getting the views from it either, because there was this back and forth where uh, the GPS channel hosting Gabe's videos was getting more views 
So then they would put it on private, so um, Gabe's channel would get more views, and then it would be this back and forth. Um, which I think is really weird, because Gabe will bash his channels doing just fine without um, GPS, so I don't know why it's still up there to begin with. Um, that's, I mean, that's the main reason why he chose to uh, put it back on his own channel, is just so, you know, due to his videos getting substantially less views uh, for multiple uploads, constantly losing views, not only hurts his channel, uh, hurts his audience reach, uh, also the amount of money he's made from his own hard work. Now, talking to DJ Jenner, he also received no cut from any ad revenue whatsoever. After speaking to him for some time, I realized that the kind of group GP is, a channel that only posts the highest quality animations, yet mocks lesser ones. Jenner blocked Kells out on Skype to make him realize he's not interested in being part of this exclusively cancerous YouTube channel where Kells had refused to upload his friend's collabs just because he publicly deems it not quality enough. As if this wasn't bad enough, Kelzad then had the nerve to mock Jano on his public GP server for having such an opinion, as seen by the screenshot here. And yes, while Kelzad does have the right to choose what happens on his own channel, mocking another group of um, people for their efforts is completely unjustified uh, and un uh, uncalled for. And coming from someone who has such a heavily influence on the Madness community, it makes all the more impactful and problematic that that's the most important point to consider here is that Kelzad being a very popular animator in the Madness community is just belittling and shitting all over these smaller animators just because their animations aren't quality enough. Just to put everything on hold before I dive into the Janna situation, I want to make something very clear. If you are a member of GPS and you had your and uh, your content is on that shared channel. It is there to help Kelzad make money off you. He has no plans to pay you for it. He has no plans to thank you for it. And his own words, and in his own words, here's an interview with him where he explains his reasoning behind why he steals other people's ad revenue. As I was saying, this is something that has been uh, really bugging me for quite some time. Um, this hate towards Jenna and the Czechoslovakian animation, um, you know, community is quite interesting. Uh, while hearing Kelzad publicly make passes at Jenna in public, um, I then, you know, as I'm gathering the evidence for this video about, you know, the way he behaves, I then uh, message Jenna on Skype and I'm, I'm like, hey, um, I discovered that he then posted a, an update on his new grounds that he's, you know, saying he's no longer in GP and he's not working on the Realm 4 soundtrack. I go to Kelsai's Discord server, you know, when during this period and there's just this flood of insults of everyone just publicly slagging uh, Jenna off with a lot of users there. So I cut in and I asked, you know, well, they thought it, they needed to uh, insult Jenna for like no reason whatsoever other than not wanting to be in Kelsai's group. And they pass it off as if it's some joke, um, just a meme that I wasn't in on. Because I was clearly displeased by this fact and tries to get hate towards Jana for not liking him. So I asked him, how is it fair that a person that makes a soundtrack for three plus of his movies, specifically the infamous Realm series, uh, who wrapped him out of the goodness of his own heart, you know, deserves to get shit on. Uh, Kelzad, out of the goodness of his own heart, responded, I've got Cheshire now. How considerate. I um, I kind of stood back and I was like, wow, I can't believe he's this much of an absolute asshole. Um, you know, someone who you could consider a close friend, you know, worked with for many years, worked most part for free and, you know, was ready to jump right into making music for your animations. And as soon as he's displeased about something, you're like, yeah, whatever, I've got Cheshire now. You know, and the interesting thing about the Cheshire th uh, situation is that he only got Cheshire as a bragging right as well. Um, just as a, hey, look, I've got, you know, musician for the Madness series, he's now working for me now. That's that's really all it is. Um, he likes his own ego, and that's a prime example of it. Um, another prime example of Kalzad's character traits, you know, just using people for his own agendas, 
But, but when they realise how much of an unbearable utilitarian he really is, he throws them under the bus publicly and tries to make them enemy number one. For those who are still who still believe Kalzar's jokes against Jenna and his group is just a meme, here's a fun fact. I went to Gabriel Barsh, and the first thing he tells me uh, is something interesting. He says, for the Madness Extermination Collab 5, Kalzar practically begged him to remove the scene where Jenna gets made fun of. This shows that Kelzer clearly understood his comments would affect Jenna's feelings and make him upset. Um, <clears throat> yeah, didn't care until it actually threatened losing him as a mu core musician. Because obviously, if he's just upset, that's fine. But, you know, if he stops at making music for me, oh no, that's something I need to fix now. Uh, but the minute Jenna actually did resign from GP, Kelzer found, found a suitable, uh, a suitable uh, replacement pretty quick. <clears throat> he didn't seem to care about whatever was said regarding Jenna and his group. Here's a clip from one interview where I asked Kelzad about these insults towards Jenna. The third, well, 13th of uh, March, where you posted a picture of a man-child in a playpen oh, and mm -hmm. referenced it to Jenna. Well, that's because it was poking fun at him. It was poking fun at him. So tell, explain to me how... After this, you try and send me this retarded, almost blackmail message of me referring to Jano as a retard and then in public chat pretty much do the same thing two years later, current day. Yeah, well, just to justify myself, that's why I send it. What's that? It's just to, you know, do it to justify myself from your claim that I made fun of him. Justify yourself. I don't, I, don't, I don't see how calling someone a retard is, is describing them instead of just saying, does he have problems? Because it's a bit mean to call someone just a retard out of the blue instead of actually just asking them if they have a problem. Well, what's interesting... It seems a bit cynical to me, though. Let me read this. Uh, it's Jenna. I say retarded all the time, you can ask Carla. Uh... Is Jenna retarded? Like everything he says, it either sounds stupid or insultive. This was directly reading his broken English from his Newgrounds account. I'm not quite understanding what he's trying to say. And then you specifically say that he's got a mental illness and his grammar is terrible. And basically tell me not to uh, insult him. Which is strange because you do the exact same thing current day. I don't. It's just because the... Well, it wasn't actually because I think he's retired that I put that, put up that picture. It's just because I thought it looked a bit like his hair. That's really the only reason that that picture was a big man baby. Right. I don't want to insult his uh, problems at all. I don't have any personal anything personally against him at all. He's a nice guy overall. It's just sometimes he misunderstands and misinterprets what people say. What is the deal with the hate towards the Cheka community? That is. I don't have anything against them. Well, you can't say that you don't encourage it when you make sarcastic remarks about them in chat. That's because it's a. I guess it's. It really is just a meme, even though you might say, oh, it's just a meme, but it really just is. I poked fun at myself as well, if that was the case. You can see a lot of pictures that are also in the GP chat right now that's supposed to be making fun of me. And the mods. People don't take any of this seriously. They don't take it seriously because it ha doesn't have any serious effect on them whatsoever. Yeah, it doesn't have anything on me or Jenner either, really. Well, Everyone it does. still praises him. Yes, except for the community he's trying to build that's instantly shat all over by your server. Obviously not just your server. But you're certainly not. You can't seriously can't say that you're having zero impact on these children that are trying to get into animation. Hmm. For extra measure, I asked Jenna about how he feels about these insults, because considering that they say they're just memes and just jokes that I'm not in on, surely that means that Jenna must be in on them, and, you know, they say it's just banter, so 
Assuming that this is true, then this would mean that both parties would be aware of this and consent to it. Otherwise, it would just be nothing short of mockery and defamation. So I asked Jenna, and he responds by saying the following. It is 100% true KLZ is a manipulator, searches for people to abuse for his own benefit, robs the original Madness series in everything. Makes perfect sense when you see Realm 4, you understand, that's why I'm leaving GPS to focus on my own personal projects. One very interesting part I found about uh, during this investigation was uh, the private message Kels had sent to me when I was questioning the insults he was throwing towards Jana on their Discord server. He sent me a screenshot of a Skype conversation that we had over, you know, two years ago with the quote, I've got you by the balls. Yikes, how terrifying that I've been found out and exposed by Calzad. Uh, not really. Um, the Skype message was from fucking two years ago when I started uh, seeing Jenna's Newgrounds post for the first time. As anyone you know, who's in this community aware, English is not his first language, so when reading it, I I always say the word retard. You know, not particularly proud of it, but it wasn't a personal attack against him, just a word that I used. Um, this was me, you know, questioning if he, there was something wrong with the guy, just by, based on the way that he, you know, would write his sentences since his English was kind of broken. Um, so it tends to come off different tone of expression than he, you know, originally would intend when he writes something. <clears throat> it, the interesting response, though, is that Kelzed um, responded to this by saying that he has a mental illness, so don't, you know, call him a retard. So I asked Kelsey, uh, sorry. So I asked Jenna myself, you know, does he have this um, mental illness? And he said he didn't. So this is kind of interesting because A, Kelsey, there's two scenarios, right? A, Kelsey knew Jenna had a mental illness, a you know, health issue, and decided to call him a retard two years later on Discord via the screenshot here. Kelsey lied, or B, Kelsey lied about Jenna having a mental illness. And then called him, you know, disabled anyway. Regardless as to which you believe, I think the verdict is clear. Okay, now this is something uh, very important to think about, both for Kelzad himself and the moderators on his Discord server. Like it or not, you are the biggest, you know, madness group that's out there. Your behaviour and acts affect the overall community as a whole, um, in people in how people behave and interact with each other, you know, just like the Jenner situation. So it really aggravates me when I see this sea of uh, cancer, for lack of a better term, coming from this server with pure hate and belittling of smaller people in this community, specifically the Czechoslovakian community. As animators uh, and long-time fans, I'm sure you realise that the decline in this uh, fandom since like 2007 has been a steady decrease and it's only just starting to peak back up with Project Nexus 2 coming out and the community coming back together again. So your actions uh, such as shitting on the Czech Czechs community or smaller people getting into animation, for the most part these people are small children uh, and young teens. Uh, I found it disgusting behaviour. Um, when you sit there and think to yourself, what happened to this fandom? You know, maybe take a, take a step back and say, you know what, maybe I shouldn't spam and raid this guy's Newgrounds channel and, you know, the answer becomes clear. The reason I say this in particular about the GPS Discord server is where they advertise their bullying and or insults to each other. A lot of people who are getting into the fandom will be coming onto their YouTube channel and their Discord servers or wherever else the GPS videos are being posted who will then be joining the you know, Discord server and see this as a normal way to behave, as if this is, you know, just something we should should all be doing, really. Uh, one example of that comes to mind when I see the moderators all in the admin VC, and they start shitposting, you know, memes, images in the media section, uh, which is interesting, because if you pay attention to a very particular person that's always in the admin VC, they'll, they'll post images that are considered against the rules a lot of the time and the moderators and admins you know that are in the admin VC with them will uh, delete these images you know as soon as he posts them and he gets zero repercussions for that because he's close friends with the owners of the server so this is very clear um, 
It's a very, very clear example of biased um, favoritism of you know specific people in this server, um, and he gets you know zero backlash for it. And this is not once. This is not a once every so often event. This is almost a daily occurrence. Um, I would show evidence of this, other than you know the Jenner incidents. But I have been banned from the GPS Discord server for no none of the reasons that are in the rules, just for a personal reason. So I am honestly disgusted by what's been happening as of recent. I am insulted, um, <clears throat> and if I am insulted or insulted back or abused online for expo uh, expressing my opinions on these issues. Then that's fine by me, um, but I will not be silenced for expressing what I feel is an important issue. Um, watch the Green Pepper Studios videos by all means, uh, join their server by all means, but just think about the actions that you make and the potential consequences for them. Kelzad's traits, um, this is something I want to address, just to address Kelzad's character, so to speak. Um, a lot of animators right now Similar to Kelzad, there's this strange aura of selfishness that comes from being popular. Kelzad is a prime, prime example of this. Um, let me tell you why. One reason that a lot of animators have is this obsession with their sprites. Um, I see a lot of small animators asking for sprites and, you know, resources to help get into, into animation. With the response of, oh, just de decompile my animation. Because obviously I couldn't just give you the sprites out of the goodness of my own heart, you know, as a fan to fan. I'm just going to make you go through the effort of decompiling my animation because you're not good enough to just be given it. I'm not sure why this is, considering we have a zero problem when we use Kel uh, Crinkle's sprites, you know, for our own animations. Kelzad's prime example uses tons of Crinkle's own original sprites. But when someone asks for Kelzad's sprites, oh no, I can't do that. You know, oh, those are mine. You know, this it's strange. In a community where we share and reuse these things for creative projects, there are individuals who choose to be unwilling to aid another for something as meaningless as a sprite. Not sure if this stems from an egotistical standpoint or if they feel they are above anyone else. Uh, but it stands to question, why do we care so much? Kelzad's income. Now, this is um, something I found interesting, because when... I did a one-on-one -on -one interview with him when I was talking about why he needed to steal people's ad revenue from the GPS YouTube channel. Uh, he didn't give me a specific answer on his job, because at the time he had a, quote, full-time job. So I was like, oh, okay, that's strange. If he has a work full-time job, he sh should have plenty of money, right? So I had to estimate why he needed to take people's money, you know, to live. Um, so an estimate with a full-time job taking the... Um, average minimum wage from Denmark with the average in, uh, income tax and the average utilities costs and rent. Um, the full-time job is about $20 an hour. I converted it to dollars so everyone kind of gets an understanding of the amount of money I'm talking about here. An average of $20 an hour times 40 hours a week for a full-time job um, times four weeks to make it, you know, approximately a month's pay and after taking away the low income tax because he would you know earns less than the minimum you know income tax so he gets taxed less um and you know rent utilities it comes to about two thousand eight hundred dollars a month or thirty three thousand dollars a year that's a very rough approximation so even if that's half you know we're looking you know twelve thirteen thousand a year. For someone that lives, you know, at home with his parents, um, it's just uh, it just seems like an excuse because none of this adds up. You know, looking at the amount of money, it he has plenty to spare. Why he needed to uh, quote, you know, take the GPS YouTube channel ad revenue for his rent is beyond me because it doesn't make sense. Also, here's another interesting part of the interview where he explains that he was planning on paying Gabriel for his content, but Gabe never brought it up, so he just kept it. Because that that's the thing that we noticed. We noticed that our videos actually got more views than his, even though he has like twice the amount of subscribers. Yeah, it's, it's unlisted, it's not private. 
I unlisted it a few months back, and it has nearly 700,000 views. It got an insane amount of uh, attention when it first came out compared to his channel. That's what surprised both me and him. Um, but it's been unlisted since about a day or two after that it was uploaded. He wanted me to set it on private or unlisted, and I did so for like a month. Then after that, I put it on uh, public again, and then a few months after that again, I put it back on unlisted. Depending on how much traffic there was. Because people always go after the amount of views, and after his video got more views than the video that we put on, uh, he I started making it public again. If you understand what I mean. Then why wouldn't you just let it get big on his own channel? I don't know, it was just to spread the GP channel, really. Because I thought that would be the main platform and I could give him the amounts of money that he needed whenever he needed it. But you didn't do that? No. Because he never asked for it. And he didn't want it, either. He said, when I asked him, he said, I do not care. Communication with fans, um, the only real communication besides the belittling and bullying of the Czechoslovakian community is the pure circle jerking of himself and other members of GPS. The only time he will crawl out of his uh, secluded admin VC is to comment on fan art of himself and his friends. So from an outsider perspective it only appears that he's there for his own self image. Uh, but hey, they're smaller than him so after all so. There's not really no need to be friendly with these uh, commoners. Talking about his ego, the, in you know, no other better sense of the word, he has this clear image of himself that extrudes through his actions. For example, naming himself Mr. O in reference to Quinkles. This is all also reflected upon his GPS members, as they have this GPS versus Mad Checkers uh, ideology going on, as if they need to show some sort of false superiority. Um, over the other. I know Kelzad is a popular animator in the community uh, and his animations are undeniably well made but to have this arrogance of your own series as if it, he's the Alfred Hitchcock of the Madness fandom is just idiotic and problematic. Talking about you know his Realm series I just want to comment about it and give my own opinions quickly because it's seen as the the greatest series of all time. Um, I personally don't see it as, you know, someone who studied film for three years um, and the entire production of film, radio and television. The way Realm is made really bugs me because not just Realm that does this, but Kelzad in particular has been doing it for some time. The use of Madness lore, uh, you know, tying it in with Madness 11, just for, you know, it was kind of cool in Realm 1, you know, a little cameo, but when they use it over and over again, it's just really unoriginal. It's ripping too heavily on Crinkle's work, um, a lack of creativity and un unoriginality. Just like how people use the same sprites of Crinkle's instead of making their own. Um, it's been done to death. Do something new, people. Like, it's not just the small things, too. I'm talking about the credit sequence of Kells that just rips off Crinkle's. Just to clone him, he calls himself Mr. O, he uses his sprites, he uses his credit sequence. Um, why do you feel the need to clone him so friggin' much? It's unoriginal, it looks pathetic, it's seeking for attention, just to be popular for some reason. Um, you know, make your own sprites. If you're getting into animation, use Crinkle sprites, that's fine. But just be creative with it, be original, you know, have fun really. Use of madness without permission. Now this is a broad statement about everyone in the community. Um, now this is a more broad statement to the entire fandom, uh, as I think many people in this community are unaware of the financial situations regarding animators. Uh, especially, specifically on Newgrounds, it's very hard to actually make money with animations. People like Crinkles, for example, need food. Food is acquired with money, which actually shouldn't be surprising to many of you. Uh, in the animation world it's hard to attain, therefore that's why fans, we should be helping him as much as possible. Things like supporting his projects, like Project Nexus 2 for example, right? You see, uh, Crinkles is a very honourable person, he won't go out of his way to uh, express this himself. Um, 
but it's aggravating when frameworks of his own idea, something like the GPS YouTube channel, is making more money than he, do, uh, he does, and he doesn't even get a slice. Um, it's kind of a slap in the face, really. Um, now, obviously, Crinkles is too much of a nice guy to you know, do a copyright strike on people's videos, but which, of course, he has the legal obligation to do. Um, but if you're an animator and you're using ripped sprites that are his property for, property, uh, for profit on YouTube and Newgrounds, or anywhere else for that matter, without permission, uh, at least think about donating a few bucks to his Patreon um, and give something back to the hand that feeds you. Just to wrap up this video, because it's already going to be a, quite a long video, um, you know, I just want to say this has been something I wanted to get off my mind for quite some time now. Uh, I'm not t telling people to take sides or do some kind of fucking war over this, but um, there are some things I wanted to say before I end this video off. If Kelzad or one of his associates responds with personal information about myself or anything that would be used to attempt to belittle, embarrass, or, you know, try and do whatever they can to distract you from the issues then go ahead but just be aware that that if they try and attempt that then they are literally just trying to distract you from answering what i said in this video um so i will wait his uh, official response to this if you can rest assured that if he tries to distract you then it's clear that he does not have answers for you know the things that he's done I would like Kelzad to explain his actions and apologise for them, and uh, hey, maybe even show his face and not hide behind his username when he insults people over the internet. Um, this is a very delicate and recent fandom issue that's been going on, so from now on how about we play nice instead of abusing people for profit. Peace. I don't need channel service. I don't get that much. Well, I won't be lying if I said it's over three digits. I don't need channel service. I don't get that much. Well, I won't be lying if I said it's over three digits.